It's time now for Prospector's Naffirmations. Naffirmations are just sayings you can repeat to yourself over and over to help you get through the day. You may try to release all the negative emotions from your system, but they will come back like a tsunami. Stay tuned for more Prospector's Naffirmations on Rock 107. Get Prospector delivered right to your smartphone. I download the podcast. Prospector's Prime Cuts Podcast. Download the app. I love it. On the app or online at rock107.com. When you Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. A Pennsylvania man set a Guinness World Record for tallest hat in the world. Let me guess, he celebrated alone. A new study says high cholesterol isn't always a bad thing. The study was conducted by Dr. Colonel Sanders. The Foo Fighters have backed out of an upcoming festival appearance. Let me guess, Dave Grohl's met another band. Prospector ruins everything, even the news. Tune in Monday for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. You may say death came in threes this weekend. I guess it depends on how you arbitrarily decide who to count and when to count. Good morning. It's Prospector Show on Rock 107. Kate, we suffered three uh, losses in the entertainment world. Big ones. Dame Maggie Smith, John Ashton, and Chris Christopherson. I know. Maggie was 89 years old, and there's no word on the cause of death, but her family said she died peacefully at the hospital. She's been around forever, but the two most prominent roles that we know her for were her most recent. Mm -hmm. Professor Minerva McGonagall, Harry Potter movies, and and Violet Crowley, Dowager Countess of Grantham of Downton Abbey. I've, I've never, never watched. Yeah, I've never watched that. Neither of them I've seen. But I've okay. seen Harry Potter, but it's still McGonagall is a mouthful. I've seen her in one movie, and we're going to see if you say it. <laughs> her, her other credits include Death on the Nile. <laughs> <laughs> you going to do that the whole time? Sure. Murder by Death. <laughs> Clash of the Titans. Ding. See, I did not know she was in that. Yeah. Hook. <laughs> Sister Act. <laughs> Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. <laughs> The First Wives Club, <coughs> and The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. <coughs> so there you go. Uh, now look, for John Ashton, we also lost, uh, kind of known only for Detective Sergeant John Taggart in Beverly Hills Cop movies. He died Thursday after a brief battle with cancer. He was 76. But for me, if you're a fan of the brilliant movie Midnight Run, like I am, uh, with Robert De Niro and um, Charles Grodin, he was one of the bounty hunters, Marvin, the other bounty hunter in the movie. Now, John was in the first two installments of Beverly Hills franchise, skipped the third one smartly, came back for the fourth one, uh, Beverly Hills Cops Axel F, which came out earlier this year. I remember watching that and thinking, oh, dude, he don't look good. I've never seen any of them. so yeah. I, I'll, The Cops movies are pretty good. I will take your word yeah. for that. They're not like great <laughs> art. They're good comedies. Country music legend Chris Christopherson passed away peacefully Saturday at his home in Hawaii, surrounded by family. No cause of death was given. He was 88 years old. He also wrote uh, Me and Bobby McGee, which was a Janis Joplin song. I don't know if you knew that. I did not. Yeah. Uh, we also lost Drake Hogeston from Days of Our Lives and Barbara Lee Hunt from Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy. So did death comes in threes or fives? Just a lot. Like I say, it doesn't always come in threes. We just see the pattern in threes. Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A woman in Massachusetts dropped an envelope full of cash in a grocery store parking lot, and the random guy who found it turned it in. It's making headlines because of the dollar amount, $12,000 in cash. She gave him a $300 reward for being so honest. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. It's time to have a little fun on the phones. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. Today we're going to be uh, reaching into the Rock 107 Freeloader database and calling somebody uh, with a prank idea of them coming to our business, Magic Dinners, making 20 dinners and taking one home. They come in, they take that dinner home for free, and they make 19 more that we go out and sell I don't think they're going to want to do it. We're reaching out to a woman named Heather. It's another prospector prank call on Rock 107. Hello? Yeah, hi. We're calling for Heather Studebaker. This is her. Hi, yeah. This is Rick Johnson with Magic Dinners. Uh, don't know if you heard of us. We're a dinner preparation place, and we've just opened one in your neighborhood. And what we're doing is reaching out to people locally and seeing if you'd like to come in and give us a try. Have you heard of us before? 
I think I've heard of you guys. How how does it work? So uh, here's what it is. You come in. We're going to give you all the ingredients. Like, say, chicken parm is one of the dinners. Oh, you yeah. like that? I love ch chicken parm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the noodles. We've got the sauce. We've got the chicken, the breading, the whole thing. We're mm -hmm. going to give you all the portions, and then you put them all together, package them up, and then you're going to take one of them home with you. And, you know, that's uh, that's your dinner. You can eat it whenever you want. It's probably uh, just probably for 20 portions. Probably going to take about a half hour. No charge. And it's on us. Um, how many do I have to make? You'll make 20. And then you take one of them with you and you just go. 20? Why can't I take the rest? Home. Well, do you really want 20 portions of chicken parm? I mean, do you even have room for that? I doubt no, that. So where does the rest so, go? So the rest of them, we market those. We put them out in the storefront and all that, and that's how we offset the cost of offering this service for free. I mean, look, to be honest... Oh, okay, so I'm cooking all the food? Well, you'll be cooking chicken parmesan meals. Basically, you come in, you prepare them, and then you get to take a meal for free. But you're making me cook other meals? You're making chicken parm. You're just making 20. That doesn't make any sense. Well, how much are you paying? Nothing, right? Right. I'm wondering why I need to make so many. Why can't I just make one for myself? You could, but then if you take it, what are we left with? Nothing, right? Right. So if you make more, then we can market those to our customers out front. You get to make yourself a meal and bounce. You don't have to pay for it so or anything. you're making me your chef, basically. You're making dinner for yourself anyhow, right? Why not just make a little bit more, then you get dinner for free. You got to admit that makes good sense. That actually doesn't make any sense. You want me to go in and do all the work and then just leave with one meal for myself? Why not pay me? Would you not be making a meal at home? But I'm not making it for 20 people. But you'd also have to clean it, pay for it. This way you don't have to clean. Mm. You don't have to pay. That's the beauty of it. All you have to do is make a couple extra right. breaded chicken breasts and throw in some noodles. Big deal. So why don't you give me half of what you make? Half? Are you? How are we going to make a profit if I give you half? Well, then what am I getting, one meal? What you're getting is a free meal. No cleaning up, blah, 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 no. big deal. You don't even have to go to the grocery store. Imagine what we're doing for you. You're making some food for yourself, which you do anyhow, and now you don't even have to clean. No. Now you don't even have to go to the grocery store. No, that's store. not right. I'd rather do it at home. I, I don't want to do it for other strangers that I don't know. Oh, really? This is magic dinners. It's magic. You're getting a free meal magically. It's not magically. I'm going to be the one doing it. Right, but you don't have to clean up or pay for it. I keep saying that, and it's like it doesn't get through to you. You're going to be making all the money, and I'm just going to be there cooking. No, I'm not a chef. I'm well, then why don't you? Chef. Okay, why don't you open a magic dinner? Okay, well I will. Yeah, right. I'll okay, be, I'll be able to take, get all the oh, money. Oh, really? You're going to get it all, right? You're going to get all the money, and who's going to come in to cook for you? Exactly. I'll cook. Oh, you're cooking? Yeah. Then why don't you just go home and cook 20 dinners? What are you talking to me for, huh? Why? Do you, you're the one that called me. Right. To come make a free meal, to have a free meal. Do you want it or not? No, I don't want it. I'd rather cook at You know home. what? You're going to be thinking about this when you get home. And, and you know what? I don't think I will. I oh, think, you'll be thinking about I it. I think I'll be okay. When you hear this on the radio, you're definitely going to be thinking about it for sure. You know, on the radio? Yes. For, for what? Because it's a prank call. It's not real. What do you mean this is a prank call? Heather, it's not real. It's a prospector prank call. This is prospector. Oh You're on Rock 107 right now. There's no magic say, dinners. I you did not want me cooking 20 <laughs> meals, and I only go home with listen, one. Listen, you don't have to do any cleanup. That's got to be worth something, right? I actually like that idea, but I'm, I'm okay. I'd rather do it for my own family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, grab the kids, call your neighbors, and gather around the radio. It's time for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day. On Rock 107, we uncover the most baffling, ridiculous, pathetic, cockeyed, laughable, preposterous blunders in the world of misdeeds. Nominee number one. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. 58-year-old Ryan Ruth is the guy who tried to take out President Trump this month by hiding in the bushes at his golf course in Florida, and he's likely spending many, many years in prison. Now it looks like his son might join him there because the FBI just arrested him for child pornography. They searched the 35-year-old Orrin Roots home in Greensboro, North Carolina on Saturday as part of, quote, an investigation unrelated to child exploitation. So, you know, the Trump thing. And they found hundreds of illegal files on a Samsung Galaxy Note, plus more on a second Galaxy Note that he had. This is the same son who said this month he was shocked to hear about the assassination attempt, described his dad as a great dude, a nice guy, and not a violent person. Not much of a character witness now, though. He's facing charges for receiving and possessing child pornography. Meanwhile, his dad was formally charged with attempted assassination and could spend the rest of his life in prison. Nominee number two. There's a reason you shouldn't name your kid Mickey Mouse. Even if you're fine with them being ruthlessly bullied. 
A seven-year-old boy in the United Kingdom was denied a passport recently, and his parents were told it was because his name relates to a train. On Rock 107, go to rock107.com. Click Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day. Vote in our poll. And tell us who you think should be the Yam Bag of the Day. Northeast PA's Classic Rock. Rock 107, it's Prospector Show. Uh, and Kate, every day I scour the World Wide Web. I'm out there. I'm looking for funny, interesting videos to put on our websites, clips to play on the show. When I find one that stands out above the rest, well, I stop and declare it to be the winner of the Internet. And guess what, Kate? Mm. I have found such a video today. Did you? Yeah, check it out. Here's something that will help kickstart your week. There's an art teacher in Louisville, Kentucky, and she's going viral for a motivational speech she gave to her students. Basically... Relax. You don't gotta be perfect. It, don't gotta be perfect. it just gotta be, done. It gotta be done. Let's not be hard on ourselves along the way. Let's not be hard on ourselves along the way. Be gentle. Be gentle. Because life's hard enough. Life's hard enough. After all, After all this, is this is just the painting. There's greater <laughs> things in life. I just love that so much. I know. I like that. It was so gentle yeah. and so nice. We, I love that. We need more of that. We do. You can see the video by going to rock07.com and clicking on Winner of the Internet or head over to facebook.com slash angry prospector to check it out. There it is. Your winner of the Internet for this Monday, September 30th, 2024. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.